Howdy, welcome back to RuneScape's Reviews. This is Wreckage, the deluxe class movie figure. Wreckage's design was going to be used in the film, but was cut due to budget and time constraints. <laughs> As if it wasn't cram-packed with enough Decepticons at the time. He was, however, made into a toy. His alt mode is... a personnel carrier, I believe. It doesn't do much except roll along, but it looks pretty cool at least. The colour scheme is not very Decepticon-ish, but it makes sense on military transport. Proportions are perfect all round, and the mole detailing is great with the rivets, vents and cockpit windows. Unfortunately, the lack of paint apps failed to bring these details out. From underneath, the robot limbs are very visible, and so is the head. But that's the only major problem I have with him, in this form. The transformation begins by pulling out the arms. Then you do the automorph, where the gun on his back folds down onto the block of clear red plastic which causes the chest to fall down and the head to rise, as you just saw. The rest is simple from then on, and his weapons are located in the rear section. Wreckage's robot mode is very nice. His proportions are closer to the humanoid transformer designs of previous lines, but some parts of him, like his hands, are still alien-like in their design. He looks a little like a Beast Machine's Vehicon in this form. He does have a bit of a backpack, but that's not very significant. What is significant is that the chest has no way of locking into place. And when you move his arms at the shoulders, it flips up. You have to hold his chest down every time you pose him there, which gets really annoying after a while. Speaking of posability, the articulation is good. Even the waist can turn a little. Though the weapons attach underneath his arms, there is also an undocumented feature they combine. Like so. And attach underneath one of his arms. It looks pretty nifty, I must say. And it reminds me of Darth Maul's double-sided lightsaber. Overall, his only major faults are the lack of a chest lock and his vehicle undercarriage extras. Otherwise, Wreckage is one of the best movie deluxe figures available. It's a pity they didn't include this design in the film. Still, I highly recommend him, regardless of the facts. That's all for now. The drone head swindle is to be reviewed next. But until then, till all are one.